Woo, doggies. Look at these container potato plants. Looking good. Today's video, we're going to talk about container gardening and why you should consider it if you're living off the grid or living in an apartment. Man, that stuff has grown fast. Potatoes. Got the corn doing good. Tomatoes, peppers. Everything's doing what it's supposed to right here in the old containers. Now, in previous videos, I've talked about doing the container gardening. And a lot of people ask, well, why not just put it in the ground? And that can be done. But here where I'm at, the soil is a little more sandy and you don't have quite the nutrients. I could do a lot of things to add nutrients, but that's going to take a lot of time, effort, and money. Now, with the containers, I can confine everything. I can use my compost that I make, have enough to fill my containers up. But most importantly for us, since we're off grid, is we can regulate the water use better. And by just having the containers, I have more control over what and how much water I'm putting in each one. So I'm not wasting it. Now I've done corn, you know, where you have your, your rows and you just stick the hose there and, and let it fill up and everything. But I've found out that wastes an awful lot of water. And that's something that uh, we don't really want to do out here. We don't have a well, we have rain catchment and we haul our water from down the road here at a local community well. So saving water, it's an important, important thing for us. Now, container gardening, for us, there's a lot of mice out here. These field mice and stuff, they can't get into them. They can't climb up them, so they don't get into them and destroy, or destroy them. Or when you're planting your seeds, they can't get in and dig up your seeds, which I've had happen to me before when I do it in the ground out here. So a lot of critters, and uh, these containers help keep them away. Now, if you're going to container garden, there's a lot of ways you can do it. You know, uh, I have them obviously in these regular black planters, but if you're in an apartment or wherever, you can grow things in containers or buckets. Now, buckets, for an example, what you want to do, a white bucket would be preferable because it doesn't heat up as much in the sun. You know, it reflects the sun a little more. Now, this bucket here, it's from Tractor Supply. Food grade, BPA free, and you know, a couple bucks, I believe it was, at tractor supply. Now, all you do, drill you some holes in the bottom of them so you get good drainage because your roots need to be aerated. So, with, by them being able to, the water be able to drain out and the air flow, your, uh, your roots won't die on you. And with the white bucket, it's not going to get so hot that it's going to burn your plant. You know what I mean? So easy to get. There's your container right there where you can grow your food wherever you want. Now, we have other things in raised beds, our onions, radishes, peas, and carrots. I do have those in raised beds, but I have a few things in containers. And uh, it definitely helps on the watering and the critters. And these things are beautiful. Get you in here. I mean, just look how beautiful these plants look There's no bugs on them nothing eating them they just look great these are get these potatoes are getting ready to flower right here so yeah they, they look great and most of the soil is for my rabbit and chicken manure and i did buy a little bit because i was running a little low on filling some of the buckets so or actually it was for some of the raised beds but we bought a little bit to kind of backfill and fill up a little bit from the store but most of the compost is what we had here and created on our farm. Rabbit manure, man, it's awesome. Now that we got sheep, we're gonna be using sheep manure too for the next, for this fall gardening. So yeah, there it is. If you wanna uh, garden simply, just do it in containers, dabble around in it. Do, do a little, you know, gardening dabulation. And the best way to do it is to start with containers. Now, if you have, you know, really rich soil in your backyard and, you, and you're not worried or you're not worried about uh, conserving water in any way, then, you know, do it however you want to do it. But this is a good, easy way to do it, and you can do it pretty much anywhere. 
So I appreciate y'all watching. Like and subscribe to keep up. We'll catch you on the next one.